Punibet, det enda spelbolag som tar mig sport på allvar. Vi sitter här med Andreas Michael, huvudtränare på Allstars Training Center. Hur står det till Andreas? Bra tack, bra. Jag är glad att ni tog er tid att komma hit. Tack för att vi fick vara här. Det, det har ju gått ungefär en vecka, mer än, lite mer än en vecka än, sedan UFC Sweden ägde rum i Globen. Där fyra fighters från Allstars under din träning gick match på Globen. Kan du berätta lite reflektionerna? Eh, från deras matcher nu så här en vecka efter? Ja, det gick inte så bra denna gång. Eh, no shit. Men eh, ibland man vinner, ibland man förlorat. Så det är jag tycker inte det är anything to worry about. Uh, I don't understand what the, what the fuss is about. I, sometimes we lose, sometimes we win. It just happened that we were winning all the time. Uh, before, so this is a trip. Uh, one of the few times we've uh, ever lost, and um, it's a it's a big uh, it's a big uh, what can I say fuss about it. Det är just det här som har varit, eh, efter snacket har han handlat väldigt mycket om just All Stars och att eh, efter de här förlusterna har folk kritiserat er på något sätt och sett att ni inte är Uh, den klubben som ni uh, enligt resultaten är. Vad tycker du om det? Well, uh, everyone's entitled to their opinion. I'm going to talk English, guys. So if you have, uh, if you don't understand this, uh, you can uh, look at Google Translate. Jag försöker inte vara kaxig eller något sånt nu, men I'm going to take it uh, the interview the way that I want to and the way that I feel the most comfortable uh, talking. So Excuse me for that, <laughs> you know, but uh, uh, what uh, I think is that everyone's entitled to their opinion. Uh, and we've got a lot of support from a lot of uh, great people. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, we've got a, uh, a lot of negative uh, comments as well, which uh, I don't really read. I don't really take any time in uh, concentrating on the negative neg negativity. I think our results uh, show who we are. I don't have to uh, defend myself to anyone or I don't have to defend my coaches and my club to anyone. Uh, so we, 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 we were the ones that like, were winning bonuses and winning in Ireland, England, uh, Germany, the US, Brazil. Uh, so it's, it's the, the, we've written history, uh, title belts, uh, Uh, so many UFC fighters, people coming from all over the world to train with us. I, you know, like we won world championships in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, like we were, we were winning in uh, amateur MMA, winning in professional MMA, like we're winning in, like, in, in every area that we compete in, like we have success. And it's because of hard work and great teamwork and great coaches, great people around us, great st uh, staff, great energy. Uh, it's not a one-man show, it's a team uh, effort and uh, I love all the guys here, there's great coaches in Sweden as well, there's great uh, fighters, but this is just an, uh, this, this interview is about uh, All-Stars, so I'm going to talk about All-Stars uh, and what's been happening. I'm so happy about the people that have supported us. Uh, the people that uh, haven't supported us, uh, They are entitled to their opinion. Uh, I don't really listen to. I don't really. It doesn't really like bother me. Uh, we have nothing to defend. The, to defend is our uh, our the, uh, results uh, speak for themselves. So, at the end of the day, I, all I can say is that is all attention is good attention. You know. So, if it's negative or positive, it's good. The worst thing is not getting any attention. You know, that's the worst thing. And uh, if you're forgotten, then you're not like, uh, not going to get any sponsorships, you're not going to get any airtime, you're not going to have Kimura come here is and talk to us, you're not going to get like the, uh, the, how can we say, uh, you're not going to get the exposure that you need. And I thank everyone 
for taking the energy to comment positive or and negative uh, about us because that energy uh, helps us uh, get the exposure that we need. Hur har de, de fighters som har tränat under dig, hur, hur har de mottagit? Inte bara de som gick match under UFC utan alla andra som tränar på Astor. Hur har de tagit emot den här kritiken? Har de blivit nedstämda eller har de blivit stärkta av den massiva kritiken även på Kimura.se? Well, you know, I don't know how much kritik it is. That's, that's how much attention I've given it. For me, it was just three losses. That's about it. Like that, I have to go back, and uh, we have to work on the things that were uh, we we got to work on. Like it's an uh, it's like a solar eclipse. It happens like every ten years or whatever. Like the blood moon, whatever that was. Like it happens like every forty years. Uh, it just happened like last week uh, or the weekend before. Like it was an eclipse. Like that rarely happens, but when it happens, everyone's amazed because they expect so much from us. So. I can understand that. Uh, uh, I can say that uh, we did our best. You just get caught sometimes. You sometimes we're, we're, maybe we're a little bit overconfident. Now we're not. <laughs> so you know, uh, you learn from your mistakes and you just keep on pushing forward and po- forward and forward. Like I said, like in Popanelen, uh, uh, I said that we've written history. I, Alex is like fought for the world champion. I've been training Alex for eight years. I've been training Alex for like more than eight years. I've been training like all these guys, all the people that have had success in the UFC. I've had the, I've been training them, you know. Well, the people that have had success in the UFC, Swedish. I, so I've been training most of them, you know. So I, it, I, it gives me uh, joy to see people succeed. I'm not because. If you wish somebody the good, then you usually get something good back. And I wish everyone the best because I'm, I, I don't uh, sit and uh, hope and, uh, and uh, put dolly karma on anyone because that comes, bounces back to me. And I believe in that. I believe that whatever you wish for somebody else, you get back. And I wish for everyone the best so I can get the best. Like that might be sound selfish, but that's how it is, you know. So that's how I that's how I I got a bunch of great coaches here. Uh, we're waiting for Reza to come out as well. We miss you, man. Uh, get your ass back here. Uh, we got uh, a bunch of great coaches, great staff, great uh, fighters here. Uh, they're coming from all over the world. They were the newspapers, the the not Swedish newspapers, the the press and everything they they they're saying that we the world ranked number well MMA or MMA awards what was it like said that we were ranked the number. MMA gym yeah the MMA gym or whatever like they they said that we were ranked number 1 in Europe like we were in the top 10 in the, in the world so some we did something right so, something something you know it's a little bit there's something right and if that sounds like uh, a little bit like uh, uh, that I'm like arrogant or whatever, it, it's not. It's just, you know, after here, after like uh, what you told me now that people say that we're not what we are, well, uh, just Google it. It's, it's in black and white. What, what, what we say is evidence of what others like professional judges go by the by the results that we've had all these years like who has done that to John Jones before like with the help of like our staff here with the help of a uh, of uh, alliance uh, Eric Del Fiero uh, we've we've been doing great things great things like we've got like world class coaches here so the advice that I listen to is not somebody that's on the internet that just wakes up like one day and wants to like write something from uh, an urban legend that they think and hear, you know, a lot of shit that like, doesn't mean nothing. Like, you know, I, I listen to like the coaches that are here. I listen to my friends that are some of the best coaches in the world. And from there, it's like we push forward and try to do great things. I don't have time to, to involve myself in negativity. 
my energy is spent on like developing all these like amazing talents that are here. Uh, some people say I don't know anything. Some people say I can't throw it left or right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's that the results, as long as we get the results, as long as we get the wins. That's the important thing. I have nothing bad to say about anyone. I'm happy that uh, like the two Swedish guys won. Uh, because that reflects on us as well because so many years I was training one of them as well so and uh, it reflects on us all the wins reflect on us you know so I'm, I'm genuinely happy for everyone uh, I'm uh, sad that the, those guy, the, the others are lost but at the same time like they're gonna learn from their mistakes and they're gonna grow like they're warriors all the all the fighters are warriors. Doesn't matter like if you win or lose, you're a warrior. You say if you have the ball, step in the in the cage and show me what you got. You understand? Because I respect everyone that steps in this cage is and does his best. Like that's how you have to treat these people. You can't love them when they're doing good and then like criticize them when they're doing bad. You say treat them like as if they 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 with respect all the time. You say these are like people that suffer like to give you entertainment. To, so you can come and, say, and watch them f like, uh, like fight their hearts out. It's like support these guys. It's like take that energy that you have and put it on, do it, on writing something uh, cr like positive so you can like, support them and give them like, the energy they need to win next time. Like, well, in, in, not just my guys, like all the guys in, 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 uh, in any sport. Why should we criticize them when they're, do it, when they're doing their best? Why should we? He said, like, get in there yourself and do better if you can. He like, said, that's the, that's, that's the basic thing. I can't go in there and do better. He like, said, I don't want to get in there and do better. He <laughs> said, you know, like, shit, that, that, that stuff hurts, you know. But uh, what I can do is, is that I can help them win next time, like we've been doing all those other times. We've been doing, we've won so, many, so much bonuses, uh, like, Fight of the night, KO of the night, like, we nearly beat John Jones. Shit, man. He said, we nearly beat John Jones. He said, and now we're the worst, like, ever? Come on, please, stop your bullshit. These, like, these are, like, like things that uh, have uh, no, uh, no quality. These, these things like, that people say, like, there's many things that people say that are, that, are, that are very beautiful and supportive as well. So I gotta like, uh, you gotta take these things like with a bit of, uh, of you gotta like take in the, the positive and like, and keep out the negative. It's like, and give love to everyone. Om vi går igenom match för match, svenskarnas matcher som du eh, tränade. Eh, vad är det för lärdomar, vad är det för analyser du har gjort efter deras matcher som du reflekterat över? Well, uh, I, I think that they, we've talked about the with each person. I'm a person that I'm a I'm a coach that like always like tells you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. And sometimes my <laughs> opinions like towards like what I thought of the fight are not like uh, what you want to hear. They're very hard. So we've gone through that. I've told I think that all the guys are warriors, all of them. Like and uh, I know exactly what what's gone wrong. I know exactly what, like, what, what we've done wrong. Like maybe a little bit too much confidence, a little bit too much uh, respect, or not enough uh, energy to take the win, you know? So uh, some, uh, some mo it's, it's mostly uh, things that like, we can get over. Like, like, you, you know, it's nothing. It's, 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 losses happen. You got to accept it. Losses happen. They just happen like in our backyard, but losses happen. It's like, you know, you can get like dropped like with one shot or you can like uh, get out, out hustled, out game planned, out like like out maneuvered, like you know, like losses happen. Like I know if we're, we're winning all the time, but you know, like sometimes we're going to lose as well. I've been telling the guys this as well. Like sometimes we're going to lose as well. You got to accept like that sometimes we're going to lose. Like we're not used to losing. We're not, <laughs> you know. So it came as like, like, uh, like uh, uh, slap in the face. We're, we're, we're not losers. So we're not used to losing. So, you know, and we always take the hardest fights as well. 
We always fight against the hardest opponents and we always do good against them. Like win or lose, we always do good against uh, the hardest opponents. This time, it just happened that, you know, we got caught right? and shit happens. Is it, is it the end of the world? Not for me. Like, maybe for some, for some people it is, but not for me. It's like I believe in Nicholas, I believe in Ili, I believe in, uh, in Thor, I believe in Magnus. Magnus didn't get the exposure he, need, he, he, he should have gotten. Why? I don't know. You know like, because he did a fantastic fight. Like, uh, unlike the critics like, say, Magnus showed heart. He showed balls. He showed like that he can get up from like conditioning. He showed that like he can beat like, an undefeated fighter that came to win. Like like he, he pushed he pushed and like hustled and listened and like did the uh, the game plan that we, we were that we were practicing on. Take it, he took, had like five takedowns. Damn, he had five takedowns. Come on, he rocked the guy in the first round. He said he got rocked in the second round. He came back like in the third round. I told him like you got to go and win the round. He went and won the round. He's a machine. The kid, the kid's a machine. You know, like he, before he was a one-round fighter. He said you, you know he dominates the guy for for one round and then and then he said he gasses and he loses. He gives up. Now he said he got dropped and he showed the development that he didn't lose his he didn't lose his psychology. He kept pushing, pushing, pushing. Against a guy that's a, that's that's a scrappy, awkward like uh, striker, that uh, is quite quite got good defense on the ground. That that surprised me out of everything. I knew that he was like scrappy and awkward. Southpaws, fuck. Like, but I knew that he was scrappy and awkward. But on the ground, this I didn't know that his his ground game was like he had. Like he was trying to get the rubber guard, he was trying to blow, he was going for triangles, going for arm bars. Like, like, so I was just telling him, uh, him to like put pressure on, and any way we win is a win. Like, I'm not going like, to uh, tell you like both Swedish wins like, were not the most spectacular fights, you know? like, but they were wins, and it was great. Great for Swedish MMA. You're like, they're fantastic, you know? It was like, I'm proud of both the guys. I have, like, they, 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 a win is a win, you know? Like, however you hustle it or maneuver it and everything, you say, a win is a win. So I'm proud of both guys, and I think that they, they did uh, magnificent, uh, you know? The most critics has been, uh, for, for those who lost, has been towards Niklas. Do you understand why, or do you have any uh, reflections on uh, Nicholas' loss? Yeah, Nicholas. If if Nicholas fights ten times with that guy, he'll probably win nine of them. You know, it just happened that that time he lost. <laughs> it was one of the. It was that one time that he lost. You know, so uh, of course, like Nicholas is a is a young, talented, like uh, kid that's gonna be that's gonna become a champion. I believe in Nicholas. Like he just got caught. Who, like, if you've ever d done anything in uh, any camps or anything, you'll know that if you get hit right, whoever it is, like, you're gonna go. You know, you just need to get hit right. You know, and Nicholas got hit like right on the button. You know, so he 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 he's gonna bounce back from this. Well, we're, he's gonna like recover now. Like he's, he needs to like go and. Uh, sorrow a little bit, like, you know, be a sulk and, like, feel depressed. I'll be, it would be, like, crazy if he was, like, happy and, like, going and partying after this. Come on. <laughs> so, like, I want him to go through this. I want him to go, I want him to feel the pain of, like, the loss. Like, not that I wanted him to lose, of course not. But if you lose, I don't want you to be happy. Uh, yes, I lost, you know. Come on. You know? I want you to, you got to go through all these, uh, all these emotions, you got to deal with yourself, you got to fight with your, with your demons, and then you're going to come back and you're going to be a stronger, better, like, more controlled fighter. And next time, like, you're going to keep your head down as well. You're like, you know, Nicholas was dominating the guy, dominating. It was like totally dominating the guy. And then, because he d couldn't believe that it was so simple, he just... Like, relax for a moment, which you cannot do because there's a reason why these guys are in the UFC. For, because they have something that has put them there. Some special quality that has put them there. All guys in the UFC ha are quality. They're the best fighters in the world. So there's something about them that makes them stay in the UFC. And you cannot relax. And we've been working on like, uh, keeping your hands up, keeping your head down with that overhand. Because we've watched videos of the guy. 
and it just happened that he relaxed because he didn't believe in that in the, in the, that that guy had any danger and boom it came like a wounded cobra it's still poisonous you know if it bites you and i believe in nicholas is a he just humble halka there he's like and he'll get up we're going to help him dust it away and he's going to get back and he's going to be destroying guys like that after no disrespect to mike he said he did a great fight he said but like you know like nicholas was not a, not not no he 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 was sloppy and that's about it and that's a compliment to nicholas that he was sloppy because he has so, his level is so, you know is so high he's like so he got sloppy and he got punished for that next time he said he won't get sloppy because i believe in him några sista ord som du vill dela med dig några sista tankar från det här eh, UFC Sweden 3 Yeah, uh, I just want to say thanks to all the fans for coming in and supporting us. Uh, I want to say thanks to all the coaches. I want to say thanks to all the fighters, all the staff, all the all the all the everyone at All Stars uh, for giving us all the support, the love that we need, like helping us lick our wounds, our sores, like you know, after the after the fight, like showing us the love that we need, like you know, we're we're their champions and that's enough you know uh, we we we're, we're working on uh, fixing the every mistake it's like you know and uh, it, sometimes like we can't win them all we've been winning them all we we've been winning them all but we can't always win them all you know so our results uh show that we are what we say we are and uh, that cannot be denied you know we have written history Uh, with all the achievements that we've done in in uh, in Sweden uh before uh <clears throat> couple of years ago uh, you re- we remember everyone how uh MMA was people were just happy to come into the UFC now we expect them to do great things in the UFC and uh, that's a trend that we've worked hard hard to push forward into i uh, Sweden and I think that with the great fighters in all all around Sweden we're going to do great things there's great coaches as well all around Sweden uh that uh, are doing great things and uh at the I want to thank like uh like the UFC I want to thank Manos management uh Manos Thomas Magdi fantastic job great great you're doing great things man you're doing great you're getting these guys into the UFC you're finding sponsorships you're working hard 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 this is a this is like a, a 14 to 20 hour job is that this is a tough this is some tough shit we're doing I'm telling you I work 40 hours they work like 40 hours well we're getting the, the shit done here it's like wins do, just don't happen is that wins are like our our uh, uh, a result of lots and lots of days, weeks, months of work. Uh, just as much as we want to win, they want to win as well, our opponents. So we got to work harder than them. And sometimes like uh, we, we 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 our hard work is like it 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 doesn't uh, pay off as they say. We lose sometimes. Who doesn't lose? Is everyone like is Anders Silva, Alex lost. Uh, look where he is now. Nicholas is lost. He's going to get up there as well. Like Lily lost. He's going to get up there as well. I believe you know that Thor lost. He's, he's going to come back, bounce back. Like great guys, all of them, great guys. It's just a shame, a shame that s- these guys that have built like Swedish MMA to where it is now get this unfair criticism this pathetic criticism this low criticism you know like they shouldn't love them when they win love them when they lose you understand is that that's 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 what you, a true fan is like uh, and i think all the positive and i welcome everything even the negative you know because like i said positive or negative as long as we're getting attention we're getting exposure and that's that's a lot the worst thing is to get for, to be forgotten you know to not be to nothing right right written about you like as long as your your name is mentioned then it's like all of a sudden it's like your own energy is given to you and when energy is given then 
good things happen sooner or later. So more guys are coming from the from the UFC here to train with us, lightweights, uh, mid a couple of middleweights now, and uh, one actual uh, one heavyweight as well. So uh, we've got a lot of work, no rest. <laughs> Thank you very much, Andreas. Thank you very much as well for coming. Thank you. Unibet, the only sport that takes sport seriously.